In this video, we're going to look at taking the derivative of the following function using the definition limit definition of the derivative, which is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So, first thing is we need to make sure we set this up correctly. f of x plus h is f of x with x plus h put in for our inputs. So 2 times x plus h to the quantity squared minus 3 times x plus h plus 7 all over, excuse me, <laughs> minus f of x. So minus our original, and I like to put that in parentheses so that I remember to, to distribute my minus sign here. Minus 3x plus 7. all over h. Now, right now if I were to plug in 0 for h, I would get 0 over 0 case, which is an indeterminate form. So, we need to do a little bit of algebra, and that will get us to the correct derivative. Now, this is not x squared plus h squared. This needs to be foiled out, and if you do, you get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus, let's distribute this guy, so minus 3x minus 3h plus 7 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 all over h. I do need to distribute this too, then we'll do some canceling and we should be almost there. Limit as h goes to 0 of 2x squared plus 4xh plus 4, excuse me, excuse me, plus 2h squared, sorry about that, minus 3x minus, sorry I wrote this wrong on the line before, that should be minus 3h, almost wrote it wrong again, plus 7 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 heck of a lot of writing. Here's where things are going to start to work out rather nicely for us. 2x squareds are going to cancel. A negative 3x and a positive 3x will cancel. A positive 7 and a negative 7 will cancel. Notice, I, all of my terms I have remaining have an h in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor that h out. So limit as h goes to 0 of h times 4x plus 2h minus 3 all over h because right now it's still 0 over 0 but these h's will cancel now I can by direct substitution plug the 0 in it's going to make that term go to 0 and I get my derivative is 4x minus 3 is equal to my f prime of x so don't forget your notation Notice we had to write limit as h goes to zero out in front until we actually took the limit, and then I no longer write it.